another video today, eh? I thought I was going to get a video of the launch, but I had a little trouble. Kind of caught me by surprise. I'd forgotten about it. But this one video is about my lock. It uh, just would not allow the key to go in far enough. And uh, so I took it apart today. It took me a little while to figure out how. This is the housing here. Oh, something's coming out. Oh, the tab. This is the, the lever that blocks it. This stopped working. I shot some lubrication in there and did all kinds of stuff. I took it off and wrapped it with a plastic mallet. And it's just that key just wouldn't go in. Just just that one last bit to get in there. So I took this off and I was like, how do I get that out of there? Well, there's a C-clamp that holds the cylinder in. You gotta, uh, for me, I couldn't hook the edge in there. So I turned it around and then pushed on the two sides of the clip until it pushed free and out came the cylinder. This little thing here, the little, uh, Pins. They're not really pins in the classic sense, but it's what they are. Uh, this was stuck down. It still had some spring in it, but it wouldn't come up to the same level as all the other ones. So I looked down in there. I had to take all the other pins out in order. So I put them back in right. Otherwise, it's going to be a tedious, painful trial and error. There's little springs down there. You see a little circle right there, two over here, and they're in there. I was, I was careful to make sure I didn't spill them, but they're so tiny uh, that the oil is holding them in place. They aren't coming out unless I pick them out. So. But way down, all the way down in there, wedged, was this little piece of plastic. My first thought was maybe it was supposed to be in there and it had gotten in the wrong place, like maybe a little plastic or Teflon bumper for the key, but uh, I can't, it doesn't have any real shape to it. I can't imagine how it got in there um, or what it might come from if it somehow stuck to my key. I guess at some point. It gets horizontal that something could fall in, but hmm, don't know. But I picked this out with a little pick. Uh, it's always good to have a, a set of uh, good. It's about anywhere it sells toothbrushes. You can get a pick set. I just picked it out with this, and that did it. Key slides all the way in now, and now I put it back together and have me a working lock. So. There it is. If I couldn't get it working, I was going to take the cylinder out and swap it for one of the little side bags. They have a different size. I couldn't do the whole lock. I'd have to take the cylinder out of each and swap the cylinders because the locks are different lengths. But, uh, yeah, that's all it was. That little thing it took me, well, if I, uh, discounting me taking it out and taking it to the compressor and blowing it and with the compressor hoping to dislodge something. Now, if I had wrapped it from the right angle while hitting it with the air, I might have blasted that out. I don't know, but I gave up on wrapping and blowing and just went to taking it apart. And here it is. So, could have done this in 10 minutes if I knew how to do it and what was wrong. Well, good luck with yours. Like, subscribe, comment.